Hello! So this is my video of how I created my Necromunda Ash Waste Hub Town. I have 3D printed everything that's in this video. So firstly we have this Hub Home. This is a file I got from Thingiverse and I'll put the link in the description. I also printed a few different scatter pieces. The house structure and these scatter pieces in particular were created on a filament printer with a PLA. Next up, I printed some things in resin as well. These little market food stalls are brilliant. The details really pop and they're removable as well so you can glue them down if you want to or keep them separate. The print files are from a company called Print Minis and I'll put the link in the description. So I'm going to show you the process of the house, the building structure first, so I've primed it in black. I added some sand for texture, I probably should have done that first before priming it. And now I'm just dry brushing some white over the top of it to bring out the details. To dry brush like this, you just get loads of paint on your brush, wipe away the excess and then just drag it across the model. I'm going to do various different colours, mainly primary colours on this model. They're going to start off really bright and gaudy, but I'm going to gradually desaturate them with some wear and tear. I do actually offer a 3D printing service, so if you want any terrain or scatter pieces doing, or even models, busts, anything like that, I can print them for you. I will leave my contact email in the description. You can also see my other works and videos on YouTube where I talk about weathering and lots of other things, especially Necromunda related. There are also links as well, which I'll put in the description so you can see my other works. And sorry to plug my stuff even more, but I do have a Patreon now, so if you want to support the work that I do, Okay, so now we are transforming this piece from a neo-expressionist gaudy nightmare into a post-apocalyptic looking nightmare. So I'm grabbing dark brown and sepia tone contrast paints. I really like using contrast paints as washes and glazes as well as just for their intended purpose. You just water them down a bit or add like a, a thinning medium if you want to, to make them even thinner. Oil washes are also really great for weathering techniques and just washes in general. And again, I do have other videos on these topics, especially the video I have on weathering in particular. Now I'm going to build up some rust and some textures with the paints. So I'm just starting off with a dark brown. As I've said before, when it comes to rust, it's always good to look at real world examples or try to get some photographs yourself of rust. And that kind of goes for anything with miniature painting. I don't think we utilize enough other resources, especially in the wider world of art as well. I'm going for a slightly lighter rust here, like a mahogany type of colour. And now I'm going for a lighter orangey rust colour. I'm adding some grey just to sort of simulate the ash waste, dust and particles. I'm just doing some of the smaller pieces, so this little computer, which I actually did in FDM in PLA, it looks really good. When it comes to creating a glow effect, grab a paint, colour it all into the screen and a little bit around it for like the afterglow and then get a lighter colour or mix it with a bit of white and put that into the centre of the screen. 
tackling more of the scatter pieces now. I really like this market stall. This is done in resin. It's so cool. Just adding different metallics here just for some different effects. And here is the final product. Hopefully I can expand this little town further in the future. It definitely reminds me of the original Fallout games and isometric role-playing games. As always, thank you for watching.